What do you need? Um, anything I should know about Dr. Mack before I leave? Only that he can't be trusted, and he's highly manipulative. So you need to stay cautious. Jacob, do you have a minute? Of course. I've heard that you're going to Hollywood Hills. Well, with Baron yelling like that, the whole shelter heard. He wanted me to tell you if I needed anything, so here it is. When you get to Hollywood Hills, could you stop by my old house? It's near the Griffith Park tennis courts. I wonder if Peter went there and left something for me. I know he'd be stupid to go there since now it's behind the Annihilation line, but then again, he was always full of stupid ideas. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Look at him. He never talks to anyone. He just sits there. I bet he's one of those machines. Jacob! What's the situation like in the shelter? Not that great. People are getting nervous. A lot have already left and even more planned to leave. Even Mark and Laura saw them packing earlier. And what about you? Uh, just the thought of running again is making me sick. Must be getting old. Plus, we got everything we could need right here. Where else would I go? Besides, I have faith that Baron would never let anything happen to this place. She's way too uptight about security. Anything. Can I see your hardware? Is it true? Are you a human now? Jacob, I didn't see you there. Where are you going? I'm going out scavenging. Don't worry. I'm past thinking about running away. Knowing how much you'd miss me made me not want to leave. Where's Patrick? He's getting ready. I'm taking him with me. I figure it's time for him to see what's out there. Is everything okay? You seem far away. Nothing can get past you, can it? 
I've been thinking about the day we met. I never told you how we really ended up there. But you don't have to if you don't want to. No, I think I need this. It's been eating at me all this time. That day, loud hammering woke me up. When I came downstairs, <clears throat> I saw my father nailing the window shut. <clears throat> Through the crack, I saw them coming. Hundreds of metal heads and their red eyes. Even though they're just empty shells, I could feel the hate radiating from them. What did you do? I made Patrick stay upstairs and went back to talk <coughs> to my father. We argued for a minute or two, and I tried to pull him away from the window. He pushed me away. I tried it again, but he shoved me. And this time I <coughs> fell. I didn't recognize him as he was reaching for a shotgun. He said, I shouldn't worry about the machines. They wouldn't hurt us. I don't even remember how. But the gun was already in my hands. I closed my eyes and went someplace else. <clears throat> didn't even hear the shot. I didn't hear Patrick's steps either. He saw you? He did. He was staring at me like I was a stranger. He didn't scream or cry, he just stared. I threw the gun away, grabbed Patrick, and tried not to notice the hole in my father's unmoving chest. As we ran, I could hear them coming, so we found somewhere to hide. And you came. I wanted to tell someone about all this, but I was afraid to. You don't have to be afraid. I'm not. Not anymore. We talk a lot about how heartless the machines are. And I started to think that maybe I was too. I probably would have convinced myself of that if it wasn't for you keeping me sane. Thank you for everything. I never thought I would find a friend in times like these. Oh, what's with the dogs? Jacob, are you receiving me? You're alive! Why? God damn it! But what does he mean? Get everyone out of the shelter? That camera. Dr. Mac! Is that you? The Resistance needs your help. Mac! It would be a shame to lose that camera. Now, why would you do that? Because we don't have time for this. Come out here. Skynet has developed a new Terminator model, the Infiltrator. You've seen one already? We've captured one, and we need your help. Are you there? How do I know you're not an Infiltrator? You've seen them. You know how incredibly lifelike they are, so you should understand my concerns. Head up that hill. If you want me to help you, you have to take a test for me. Test? Yes. To determine whether you're a Terminator or not. And be careful. I'm watching you. <laughs> oh, they're actually trying to fight you? Very clever way to make me think that you're not one of them. Unfortunately for you, I'm not that easily fooled.
We don't have time for any of this. Just tell me where you are. I am not a robot. Living tissue would make you a cybernetic organism, not a robot. Words have meaning. Conversations between human beings...
Okay. <laughs> 